I bought this jersey, number two, the captain, when he broke Lou Gehrig's record. I went with my best buddy, gracious enough to take me. We were there and we saw history as the captain broke Lou Gehrig's record. And then I wore this last night as the Yankees pissed all over the Anaheim Angels. Los Angeles Angels of, o of Anaheim, Mike Sosha's team. You know what you call them right now? They're losers, they're fucking golfing. See ya, golf, Anaheim. Just like Minnesota, see ya, golf. Now what's gonna happen in the World Series? Because again, you got Cole Hamels, he has a World Series ring and they're the defending champs. You got Cliff Lee, he's better than CC Sabathia right now. 2-0, ERA of 0 .76, 0 .76, 0 .76 in his last 24.1 innings in the fucking playoffs. That's, that's Sandy Koufax numbers, that's Bob Gibson numbers, that's Tom fucking Siva numbers, okay? And then they have Pedro Martinez, they have Jay Happ, they have Jeff Blanton. Let me tell you something right now, with Blanton, Happ, Martinez, Hamels and Lee, this ain't no fucking pushover. Brad Lidge remembered he was the best reliever in baseball last year. Mariano-esque. They ain't no fucking pushovers. Matter of fact, they might have a better first baseman than we do. Because when you hit 45 fucking home runs, like Ryan motherfucking Howard has his first four years playing baseball, there's nobody ever been better. Ever, ever, ever. He's better than A-Rod. He's better than Dave Ruth. And he's sure as shit better than Marcia Shera. But what happens now? when he goes up against the Yankees. Second base. They have an amazing second baseman that matches up with our second baseman. Shortstop, dead fucking even. You can't say that Jimmy Rollins is not as good as Derek, our captain. You can't say it. You saw Jay Rollins' is fucking money with a big fucking mouth, a big fucking stick, a big legs, backs it fucking up. Their outfield, the crazy Hawaiian, this ain't going to be an easy fucking series. Then all of a sudden, you have power all the way around. They have, they have more power, Philly does, than the Yankees do. Again, what is going to happen? Amazing fucking series. I love this series. Well, I already bet the Yankees had a 2-1 to one underdog. Already bet them in a 2-1 to one dog before the division series started. Right now, you got to lay 2-1. to one. you got to lay 2-1. to one. I took 2-1. to one. All my customers took 2-1. to one. So again... Will the Yankees beat Philly? You could bet everything you fucking own they will. Are they going to sweep them? They could. They could sweep them 4-0 out of the fucking box. Bye-bye. Done. Could it go 5? Absolutely. Could it go 6? Yes. Could it go 7? Why not? But at the end of the day, you lay the 2-1 to one right this second. We took 2-1 two, to one two weeks ago. At the end of the day, a-Rod gets his first ring. CC gets his first ring. Robinson gets his first ring. Mark gets his first ring. And again, the four main players. Posada, fifth. Derek, fifth. Andy, fifth. And the greatest player, money player to ever, ever, ever play the game. Mariano gets his fifth. Matter of fact, he led up a run last night. And that was the first run ever in the playoffs he gave up at home. And what was it? A little bloop to Derek's left and a little dinker up the middle. But that's it. That's it. It's the only fucking run Mariano's ever led up. Brad Lynch gives up three runs at home every fucking game. And in reality, I want to see the balls on Brad Lynch when he comes to New York. Because we normally drill that motherfucker. For my money, we're going to drill that cocksucker. Let's go, Yanks.